Hello again everyone. I hope you're all keeping well, enjoying this lovely fine weather we're having. We're really blessed at the moment. It certainly helps with the um, stay at home um, and gives us something to get out in the garden and do at the moment. I um, hope you all had a lovely Easter and made lots of lovely crafts over it. Um, so today I'm going to continue with um, doing some projects for children to try at home and um, make something for a nice little spring piece this is what we're going to make it's like a little window box and i'm going to actually make it out of giant size lollipop sticks but not everybody will have them lying about at home so what i made this one out of um i don't know if you can see it there is cardboard so each lollipop stick is almost two centimeters by 15 centimeters and what i do is just get a mum or dad or somebody big to cut out strips of cardboard from old uh, cardboard box and then i just with my thumb or or something round like top of a, a bottle do a little roundy end on each side and cut them so that you're going to have lots of these so this is the size they are but you're going to cut them out of the cardboard so you will need eight in total to make this piece okay and i've made these i've used a bit of foam for the flower boxes but you can use colored card this is crepe paper or you could use tissue paper or really any thin kind of colored paper um you could also then paint the the frame your little garden gate if you like i'm actually going to use colored sticks today so it'll give you an idea of what the, the colour would like. I've used buttons for the centres of the flowers or a little circle of foam but again you could cut out a bit of coloured paper or roll up a little bit of tissue and make that as the centre and I happen to have some little wee bits of decoration which you mightn't have but you might have say some old birthday cards that might have little cute pictures on them and you could cut those out and stick them on as this is what's called a decal so a little decoration so i have like a ladybird there and a little butterfly here and a bow but you could have lots of little bits lying around you could you could use uh, for those and the last thing you're going to need is a paper clip which we stick on the back for hanging it up so that's a nice pretty little piece so the first thing you're going to do is to make the framework of it I'm just going to turn the camera down just a little bit so you can see this. So I use sticky tape just so you could see the markings I'm putting on here. So I put the three down that are going to be what you call the upright pieces of your fences. OK, and I would use PVA glue um, here if you want or wood glue but you can use double sided tape as I have so you need three dots on the top and three dots on the bottom and I'm just going to peel those off just so I can show you so you can maybe do this two fingers width apart or three fingers if you have very tiny little fingers so peel off the top ones and what I want here is so that there's a bit of the stick out this side and there's a bit of a stick out that side. So stick it down nice and even like that. Do you see what I mean? So you can see you've got a piece coming out this side and a piece coming out that side. So a little bit off centre. And then I'll do the bottom one. And then I'm going to do another three on the other side. And that's what will make our our garden gate is what this really is like with some nice flower pots in front of it and um, it'll make it look nice and secure so make sure they're all straight and then stick my other stick down and then flip it over and if you're using glue you probably have to leave this a little bit of time to let it dry off and it'll go hard So actually you're going to need nine sticks now that I'm thinking about it. I'll show you why. And I will put that one over to match the front one. No. Sorry. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yes. That's right. 
because we're going to need an extra stick on the front to um, make the bottom piece. If you see here, there's actually three sticks here where there's only two up here. And that's so that we have a bit of depth that make it look like a little bit more 3D and make it step out for our um, for our flower pots to stick on. So now I would put three more dots of glue or um, sticky tape and pop that one down there as well to let it stop down. So we're going to stick that on the back. So this, the one where we have the two on the front and one on the back, this is our front piece. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to make your flower pots. You want to cut a piece of card or the foam and have it not that's a bit too big if they're too tall there won't be space for the flowers so i have a little square at first and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the bottom corners off so i'm going to cut in a bit up to the outside corner turn it over and cut again and if you happen to have a bumpy funny scissors or a zigzaggy scissors you could cut that and give the top of your pot a funny edge so you can stick one of those down and then pick another color I have a yellow one here I've cut the top off but this one is actually a bit too big so I'm gonna make it smaller same thing, wider at the top and narrower at the bottom. I'm going to stick that one there. And then for my last one, I'm going to do a red bucket. So again, I want to cut out to the top, but come in a bit on the bottom. So I just want them the shape of a bucket. So wider at the top and narrower at the bottom. I'm just going to shorten that one a wee bit and stick it down. So now I've three flower pots stuck on. I want to do three different flowers and I used a bit of foam as well. I made these, I cut into them, but you could do it with green card and cut down and make some grassy bits along the front if you wanted, or better still, I could actually stick them along the back and make it look like there's a bit of grass growing behind my garden gate. Let's stick that one in there. There we go. So you see like that? Sticking up behind the gate. The only thing with the hot glue, obviously you have to be careful you don't burn your hands, but you get lots of little spidery strings off it everywhere. So to make our flower shapes, we want these like this. I'll show you what we need to do. Get a square of tissue paper or crepe paper and we fold it in half. Little square, fold it in half again. So you've got into two small squares. Then where the middle of the piece of paper is, hold that and bring the two sides together to make a triangle. Okay, so you've got a triangle. And then fold it again to make it into a little cone shape. So all the time keeping hold of the little middle bit because this is the centre of the flower. So if you hold it like that, you've got your cone shape. You're going to try and cut kind of like the shape of your top of your thumb. So a semicircle around like that. And don't worry if it's not too perfect, it won't matter. So what happens is when you open that out, we've got a nice little flower shape. So we have two of the red, which I think will be nice on the yellow pot. I'm gonna leave those there. And I think two blue ones would be nice on the red pot. And then I'm going to do some yellow. And I'll just show you something else I did with the yellow ones here. So folding them in half and half again and into a cone shape. I cut them like that, but then I got the scissors and did a little bit of cutting in like that so that you get a kind of feathery finish when you open it up. So crepe paper, if 
if you use a bit of glue with it, it can go kind of quite smushy very easily. So what I'm going to do is just a little bit of glue on each one first and put the first petal down and then pinch the center of it so you scrunch it up a little bit and put the next petal down and scrunch it up a little bit whoops and then my my third little flower and scrunch it up a bit that makes the flower stand up just a little bit like that and I'm going to put another dot of glue in the centre of each one. Oops, probably a bit much there. And go back again with another petal and another little squeeze. Now the trick is not to try and stop it from sticking to you. So a little pinch there. And then my final yellow one. Those yellow petals might be a bit big. You can always cut that shorter. I'll show you how. So when you have your cone shape again, I'm going to make it a shorter petal. So I'm just going to cut off that top. And then I'm going to cut down into it to feather it. So when I open it up, it'll look like this. Open up. My fingers are sticky now from the glue. That's why it's all sticky. So I'm going to squinch that in like that. Don't worry if it tears a bit. You can just scrunch it. So, so far we've got this looking fairly good. And then we want to put the centres in our flowers. Now I happen to like a little black centre in the red one. I think it, that's your poppy. And a little green in the centre. These are just tiny buttons I have, but as I said, you could scrunch up a bit of clay, cloth or a bit of uh, crepe paper. You could just cut out a tiny little circle or something. And then I have my little ladybird here. And my little bow. You can use regular glue for these. I'm just using them to... I'm going to put this little butterfly here so I'll see him. So far I have all of those. So old birthday cards and pictures, things like that are great for um, reusing. You can cut up all the little pieces that come off them. And sometimes cards have a lot of things stuck on them. I always keep all the little bits. I uh, collect them. So I'm going to need a bit of glue on the back. And stick the, the little pa um, paper clip with just one loop coming up. Okay, so we let that dry off. So there's your lovely little uh, garden gate with flower pots. That'll look very nice. So just if you paint it, let it dry before you start sticking all the pieces onto it. And um, I hope that might make a nice gift. Cheer somebody up. You could maybe send it to, over to your granny or, you know, something like that. It might be lovely. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'd love to see your pictures if you make them. I hope you subscribe to the channel and we'll keep lots more ideas coming your way and that everybody is taking care, being safe and staying home. Till next time. Bye bye.